Today we're going to show you how to set up your busy baby mat. First, we always recommend wiping down the surface with a baby wipe. Wipe the surface and your suction cups to get the best suction. Any dust or lint will prevent your mat from sticking as good as it can. Next, we'll grab one of our busy baby tethers. One end has three holes. You take that end and wrap it through or around whatever toy you'd like to secure to your busy baby mat. Now, you're going to put your tether into one of the attachment points on the mat, starting from the inside and going out. You'll see the hole opening on the inside part of the mat is bigger than the outside part. Now you can hook up something else. Notice the squiggly end of our tether. That's designed so that there's a little bit of give in the tether before the baby pulls directly on that suction cup. That's the end that will go into your mat. Now if you want to attach other things, we have a brilliant product for holding these pesky sippy cups and bottles that end up on the ground. This is our Busy Baby Bottle Bungee. It stretches to fit around any bottle or sippy cup. Simply stretch the loop around your bottle or sippy cup, and then you take the ball end of the tether and plug it into your mat. Now your sippy cups aren't gonna end up on the ground, making that big splash all over the floor. Finally, we have our Busy Baby Teething Spoon. This product is a fantastic teether, but it's also designed to hook up easily to the mat. Simply push one ball end through the bottom of the teether, and then your other end into your mat. Now you can put baby food, purees, yogurt, whatever your baby likes into the tray of the mat and they can practice feeding themselves. Now at this age they don't actually eat but they do know they love chewing on this food and they learn the motion and again you're not ending up with anything on the ground.